Hi guys, and this is just a short video to review inequalities. We've talked about these when we did domain and range, um, so I think you're pretty familiar with them. I just want to give you a quick crash course. Okay, so let's just remember that an inequality means something that's not equal. So if I say 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, that's an equality, right, because they are equal. Okay, if I say uh, x plus 3 equals 7, that is also an equality because there is an equal sign, okay? Alright, so an inequality is going to be something that has a greater than sign, a less than sign, a greater than or equal to, <clears throat> or a less than or equal to, okay? So let's just do a couple of really quick examples. So let's say I tell you that x is greater than 4. Okay, that means that x is any number that is larger than 4. And if you were going to draw that on a number line, so let's just go 0. Okay, and first you have to ask yourself, does it include 4? Okay, if it's greater than 4, it does not include 4. So remember, when you're trying to say that it starts right after 4, then you put the open circle around the 4, because that's saying that it does not include 4. And since it's greater, you're going to have an arrow that goes this way. Okay? So let's just do another example. X, do it in yellow. X is less than or equal to negative 1. All right, so we have a number line. 0, negative 1. All right, so looking at that inequality, this is x is less than or equal to negative 1. So does it include negative 1? It does because of this sign right here, right, the, the equal part of the, the inequality tells you that it does include 1. So we don't put an open circle because that means that it does not include 1. You want to put a full circle because that's saying that it starts at negative 1 and it's any number that is less than negative 1. Okay? Um, let's see. Alright, so just a couple more things. If you have x is greater than 2, that is the same thing as 2 is less than x. Because okay, sometimes you're going to get it written different ways. So I want you to notice, if you're looking at this problem right here, the big side, right, this part right here, the open side of the inequality is facing towards the x, okay? So when you flip it, it has to face towards the x here also, right? And then the small side faces towards the 2, okay? So if we had x is less than or equal to 7, you could rewrite that as 7 is greater than or equal to x. Now this way right here and this way right here are going to be the ways that you want to see it. It just makes it easier. So if you ever get an answer that has the variable on the, le on the left side, sorry, on the right side, go ahead and flip it so it looks like these right here. Okay, so that's just a real, real quick review. Go ahead and complete the assignment and submit it for grading. And I hope you guys have a good day.